Spring break 2009. I had the worst fever I had ever experienced. I was completely bedridden. And worst of all, no one around me spoke English. I was in Leon, Nicaragua, and I was scared. Then, a few minutes later, a fellow CMU student walks in. He's speaking fluent Spanish and instantly starts translating. Within seconds, he was making connections which moments before seemed impossible, and by the next day, they had me back on my feet. I was then able to carry out a variety of projects, one of which where I taught art to underprivileged children in Nicaragua. I never thought such a project would be possible, much less that I'd be helping fundraise, organize, and execute these projects. Even further, I never thought that I would have that opportunity, but luckily, a close friend and a brother of mine encouraged me to push myself beyond. Many of the green team may know him, Damien Valdez, I'd like to thank you. So for one, Greek life has made me a better person, but when I was in your shoes, I never I thought, thought I would, I would join, join a fraternity. fraternity. When I uh, came to school, I thought fraternities were just all about drinking and partying, and that just wasn't my scene. I started hanging out with this group of guys that seemed really chill and really cool. When I found out that they were the fraternity, I thought really long about whether or not I wanted to join a fraternity at all, and whether or not this one was the right fit for me. Ultimately, I did design to join, and I've never regretted that decision. The best thing I got from being in my fraternity was the support. When I was a freshman, I was a music composition major, but I was always interested in the technical fields. My brothers encouraged me to take classes in engineering and computer science, and even helped me through those classes. But by the time I was a junior, I was surprised to find that I, I had, had no, no idea, idea what, what I, I wanted, wanted to do. do. I came to Carnegie Mellon as an undecided first year in Humanities and Social Sciences, or HNSS. I knew I wanted to design video games and that I'd come to the right university for that, but I didn't know where to start. After some serious looking, I found Information Systems, or IS. Yeah. Um, IS was uh, interdisciplinary and allowed me to be interdisciplinary in many ways, namely by encouraging me to take classes outside my discipline, such as in psychology, philosophy, computer science, and art. These experiences, while positive and all the whole, have uh, allowed me to try new things, like Becoming, becoming an, an orientation, orientation counselor, counselor is something that I actually never did. My path to becoming an HOC is somewhat atypical. My freshman year, I joined my E-Tower House Council, and after this, my CA encouraged me to apply to be an RA. Two years and 85 freshman females later, I decided I wanted to continue working with first years, but from a different role. What's really great about Carnegie Mellon is that everyone has something that inspires and drives them. My sophomore year, I found that there wasn't a club for something that I was becoming really personally passionate about. So together, I started organizing with a few of my friends, and we were able to register 5,000 students to vote. I started a club that later enabled me to meet the future and now president of the United States. Although I never would have expected it, my organizations, organizations have, have changed, changed me as, as a person. person. When I first came here, I thought I was going to play varsity baseball, and then I found out we didn't have a team. So I started playing club baseball, but we had to wake up too early. And so I found other athletic activities, such as building houses, which I got the chance to do my freshman year in New Orleans. Also, sophomore year, I took over the filmmaking club, and since then have been the president and now working on different student film festivals. Also, sophomore year, I got to beatbox for uh, Lunar Gala, which is a student fashion show. The next year, I got to do a line of clothing with my best friend, Terry Boyd. And in my junior year, I uh, was lucky enough and fortunate enough to become a fifth year scholar, which uh, gives me a free year at CMU to finish a French degree, and which is good, because as my CFA compadres know, being in the, in real, the real world, world can, can be, be a little, little scary. scary. Just like graduating college, graduating high school, as many of you know, can be both scary and exciting. When I first came to Carnegie Mellon, I met a great group of friends on the fifth floor of what was then called Newhouse. <laughs> we, we did everything together. I absolutely loved it. I was excited that I didn't have to join extracurricular activities to make friends and that I could leave my stereotype of being an overachiever back in high school. Because as we all know, everyone at Carnegie Mellon is an overachiever. So, but a part of me was still missing. I decided I needed to get involved. 
I joined a sorority. I joined an Indian dance team, and I volunteered for alumni relations. All of these things have gotten me out of my comfort zone. Carnegie Mellon has inspired me to do things that I never would have done before and do them in a sea of brilliant and motivated students. Carnegie Mellon is more than the classes you take. It's the clubs that you join or the clubs that you create. It's the friends you make and the people you meet. You'll have a lot of opportunities to develop yourself here. We're here at Community Collage to give you guys a taste of what Carnegie Mellon has to offer. We hope you enjoy the following speakers and presentations and that you too are inspired as we were to find your place in the first year class and the greater campus community. I'm Steve Benders, Head Orientation Counselor for Oakland. <laughs> Yay. I'm Corey Werner. I'm Head Orientation Counselor for The Hill. I'm sure you've heard my army. Yay. Hi, I'm Nisha Padraig. I'm the Head Orientation Counselor for Steve and Commuters. <laughs> Hey, I'm Ryan Woodring. Whose house? Mud house! Mud house! I'm Maria Morrow, and I'm the head orientation counselor for Morewood Garden Z Tower. And I'm Stefan Sullivan, the head orientation counselor for Donner. We are the HOCs, on, and in, on behalf of the entire orientation staff, we would like to say, Welcome, welcome class, class of 2013. 2013. Thank you.